รวมเออยสามเกียเตียงงานเชียตีไอตรายาเชียตนาจำมาราณรงนาเรืองเออเฮยเชียตรมเย็นสากาปรองเปลี่ยนไอดาวพันนาลุบ้านนี้คือจะกำวิธีตัวรู้ไม่มาได้จังประจำติกรงโลเวลรอดมาสชูเซตส์พายบนตอบตัวจีเรียงรอดทั้งไงจังปีมองประปีเติมมองประบุนยุบประจำปอกเลสกาสปรัมขยมบ้านวันวันตนะลุมดับตอนนี้โซมจูนมีตะการปอร์มิ้นสำหรับทั้งไงจังตีมาเผยใบคายกะกระดาษกระสักกระดาษปีปอนดับปีบาทเนตีประวัติศาสตร์ขมายปอร์เมียนจีดอันตรายจีดหนึ่งดมหนังปีศาจกุ้มดาวขยมบาทไวน์วอตนาหนึ่งลูกท้องสตีเวนเนตีกมนาบจิมวยเนกรูพันนาหนึ่งเนตีมาเตะโปรจีปูรอดบาทลมดับต่อตอนนี้ขยมบาทโซมันจืดอ่อนลูกลูกใส่ยังปรายมิดตามด้านการวิธีตูรุตูสำเร็จขมายอเมริกันระบอกยังขยมโดยต่อเตอร์บาทหายในขนมปีนิพงได้ขยมบาทก็โซมนวมโยกมองบุญเกนปอร์มีนขนองสหรัฐอเมริกันบาทไอขยมบาทมีนปอร์มีนมุ้ยนำไปใจจูนดอลออลลูกใส่ตัวตัวสนิทจุนจิติมิตรไอปอร์มีนนี่คือจีปอร์มีนได้การล้างการปีสัมปนาบุญบาทคือปอร์มีนนี่คือแตะตัวดอกกาบันปรหาดอลเนี่ยมือก้นในโคโลราโดในตีกรงอโรรเฮ้ยนึกนองเหตุการณ์บันประหารนู้ขมันกับพลึงบันบันตัวลืมเนี่ยตัวตัวสนาก่อนนึกนองรุงก่อนนึงดอยมีนเนี่ยสลับเตียงอ๋อดอกปีเนี้ยเฮ้ยนึงรูบูเชียงฮาสับเนี่ยไทม์ตีดบานบานในกิจดำดังสาวกันในการมุ้ยเฮ้ยนึกนองปีนู้ฟังได้เป็นลีกบานทวีกาสืบอังเกตแล้วเฮ้ชายชายนลุมเนทานระบอกขมันกับพลื้งหอยบานคืนนกรอบใบบังไกเชียงดอกกรอบผ่องได้นบังไกนลืลุมเนทานระบอกขมันกับพลื้งนุบานโดยฉะนั้นกูลุมนองระบอกขมันกับพลื้งนี้มันเมนตรมแต่สำหรับเนี่ยได้เติมมือก้นจำนวนปีตนอมเนี่ยหนึ่งทีคือจังสำหรับมนุษย์เซนติสอ้อยบานการแต่ชาวบานหายนี่คือจุดดำดังในสาวสาวมุ้ยแต่ขยมบาทโสมจูนใจจูนอโลสไรเปรย์มาโดยออยบานจีบบานหอยลำดับตอนนี้ยังมีเนตีประวัติศาสตร์ไม้ได้ยังหนึ่งจักบรรจังหนึ่งเพียบบรรทอกาลปีสัปดาห์มุนมุนหอยเนตีประวัติศาสตร์นี้คือแตะตัวดอลปฏิกาเฉลียนปีนระบอกปฏิเวียดนามบอกเลยการปุจิให้ขยมขยมบาทโสมจูนออลูกลูกใส่ตัวตัวสนิทจุนตามดานในวิกไซวิดโอนี้โดยต่อเติร์บาทโสมออกกลในอดีตที่ฟีดิ้งเรฟิวจีส์ในสถานที่ 
The camps were also used as a land bridge to funnel rice and other supplies back to the interior. The Vietnamese had refused to allow the road or railway to be used, so everything depended on bullock carts, bicycles and Campuchians on foot. Up to 100,000 traffickers were plying the trails. Their journeys to and from the border were taking at least a week each way. Some were crossing to the other side of the country and taking much longer. There were bandits lying in wait and Vietnamese soldiers who extorted bribes. Nevertheless, in the course of a year, 150,000 tons of rice were carried across the land bridge. And apart from this, the traffickers were smuggling everything from cigarettes and coloured cloth to fishing line, medicines, music tapes. There was nothing, it seemed, that couldn't be bought and carried in from Thailand. When the traffickers emerged at the other end of their journey, there was only a token checkpoint before they were free to enter the market towns. Officially, the Vietnamese would never condone the traffic in aid and trade from the border. And from time to time, they called a halt by cutting the trails and attacking the border camps. But in general, they turned a blind eye because the black market trade was a lifeline. It was vital to Campuchia, and it stretched right through to Vietnam. Ironically, Campuchia had fallen back on capitalism in its crudest form. In this destitute economy, the only productive energy worth speaking of was sparked by profiteering. Compared to the black market, there was little incentive to work in the fields or even to hold a government job. Campuchia had nothing produced for export, so gold was used as the only way to pay for the goods that came from the border. This was gold that families had hidden during the war and the term of Pol Pot's rule. The military operation to overthrow Pol Pot was completed in two weeks. But the famine that followed lasted for two years. Why was that? Uh, the, 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 the food, uh, food, the food yeah. uh, situation, yes. I, I would like to say that uh, uh, Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia, we have been torn by war for 30 years. So if uh, the European countries, they have passed through five years of world war, and the uh, Vietnam and the war in Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia is much have much more bomb than twice the number of bomb in World War Second. If uh, the European countries they need five years to rebuild up their countries, we need at least thirty years, if not more, because in more bomb than in everywhere in the history. But there was an immediate crisis. Yeah, and the. Media? An, an immediate. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, a very yeah, immediate yeah. crisis. Life and death. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it turned out to be yeah. death for a lot of people yeah, yeah. in 1979. Why didn't the socialist bloc respond more quickly? We think if uh, we, we, we have uh, not responded to them, they could not survive. Because uh, in 79, it was a near starvation. It was real starvation. Yes, yeah. real yeah. starvation because uh, the regime of Pol Pot since 75. It, it is an enslavation. And uh, the socialist country, they have done their best. If there is no such uh, uh, aid from the socialist country and from the, the, the other countries in the world, from uh, Western Europe, from the United States, and from your country, and so on. Uh, they could not uh, overcome these difficulties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no question that for a certain period of time the Vietnamese army is going to be necessary in Campuchia in order to stop uh, a Pol Pot takeover. Uh, if they withdrew now, uh, the Heng Sum Rin regime would collapse. But I think the, the question of Vietnamese total withdrawal from Campuchia simply does not arise. If you study Vietnamese history for the last 700 years uh, in Campuchia, uh, the, the way, the manner of conquest has always been to move people forward and follow up with the army. 
this time it's the other way around, that the army has come, uh, conquered Kampuchea, occupied Kampuchea, and, and it is entirely logical to presume that the Vietnamese will end up with a, with a real colonialism, a, a, a real occupation, uh, of a Vietnamese presence throughout all of Indochina, uh, living and working as, as citizens of Indochina, so to speak, but ethnic Vietnamese. The approach of Heng Samran is uh, really very miserable because uh, Heng Samran is a puppet regime. Cambodia uh, is losing uh, her uh, personality as an independent state. Now the Vietnamese, they try, they are trying to impose on Cambodia their way of life, their uh, uh, Vietnamese and Soviet style communism and so on. Uh, the Cambodian people cannot be happy about it. And more and more there are uh, Vietnamese settlers from Vietnam. Our people uh, become uh, uh, slaves of uh, Moscow and of uh, Hanoi. The fate of uh, Cambodia will be the same than the fate of uh, South Vietnam. That was uh, South Cambodia. What is the meaning of Angkor now? No significance, because we are uh, now uh, no more an independent state. As an army of occupation, the Vietnamese were remarkably liberal at first. They allowed freedom of movement and Buddhist worship, as well as black marketeering. They were at pains to disguise their communism from any reminder of Pol Pot's rule. But that was bound to change. Once the famine receded, the outside world lost interest. But the Vietnamese stayed on. And the longer they stayed, the more they bred resentment. They imposed conscription and forced labor. And now there were new political prisoners, secret arrests and torture. Inevitably, this all added fuel as the war of resistance mounted. Amnesty claims both Capuchin and Vietnamese personnel have imprisoned and tortured thousands of political opponents. Vietnam and the Vietnamese-backed government in Phnom Penh have been battling resistance forces in Capuchia since Vietnam overthrew the infamous Khmer Rouge. The Vietnamese, uh, they are very expansionist. They are very imperialist, very colonialist. The situation, uh, according to the Vietnamese, uh, in Kampuchea is irreversible. That means that they are determined to stay, to stay in Kampuchea. So they are not ready to soften uh, their uh, attitude. On the contrary, they, they want to remain very tough. In 1982, Sihanouk made his first return visit to Kampuchean soil since the fall of Pol Pot. We want peace, but peace without uh, freedom, without liberty without uh, independence has no significance for us is unacceptable reason why uh, we will not give up fighting we will go on fighting against the Vietnamese in us till the day they accept to settle peacefully and in a friendly fashion uh, the issue the Kampuchean issue the so-called problem of Kampuchea <laughs> More than three years before, he'd retired in despair, vowing never to play any part in politics again. But now, in a tour of the border camps, Tsiyonok announced his commitment to join a united front of resistance against the foreign control of his country. In this new coalition, Tsiyonok had joined for a second time 